Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Wow, I did that seamlessly. Today is a video that I am pretty excited about. I do not know that this niche of... Hold on, that's annoying me. I did not know that this niche of makeup products existed, but today we are going to be doing a full face using luxury makeup products from TJ Maxx. I was in TJ Maxx the other day. I decided to go on their website and see what I could find. But you guys, they have got Kevin Aquan, they've got Gucci, they've got Dolce & Gabbana, they've got Cle de Peau, they've got MAC. They had MAC in there. Like, I got a Marc Jacobs brush, and I got a Kat Von D brush. Just a lot of everything. Super nice stuff. I don't know. I don't know how it ended up there. I don't know what happened in these nice products' lives that they ended up in a TJ Maxx now, but they did. They are in my possession. So today we are going to be doing a full face and see how it works out. Um primer that I could not find any primer on the website so I will be using my own primer I've already gone in with the the Smashbox primerizer and now I'm just putting some Tatcha um I almost called it the skin mist the silk canvas on my face and just rubbing that in um it is currently 7:25 in the morning and if i seem exhausted it's because i am i've been up since 6 30. i woke up this morning and i like i don't know if this ever happens to you guys but i just like forgot how to do mornings like i couldn't remember what order i normally do things in and i just felt kind of lost and just i was just kind of staring off into space and shuffling around my house. I tried to make notes for this video so it went a little easier and this is what I've come up with. Can you guys see that? It just says beauty blender in childlike serial killer handwriting. $20 and then I scratched it out because I gave up. Okay, there were some options for foundation on the website. Mostly powdered foundations or um, very not my shade foundations, so I just decided that I'm going to use my own foundation. I want to actually see how these products perform, so I am going to use a foundation that I know and trust. I am going to use the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So, I actually was able to get a Beauty Blender on TJMaxx.com. I don't know how, um, as far as I know, Beauty Blender still sell really well, but these are originally $20. I got it for $14.99. The original in pink. They also had the nude one. Oh, it feels, it feels so nice. A little kiss. Okay, also just comparing this to my current beauty blender, I'm like, is this the shade that this used to be? Because that's scary. I don't remember what color this used to be. To be honest, I'm horrible about washing my brushes and makeup tools. I, it's time. It's time for a new one. Okay, we are also going to be using the Kevin Aquan Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting. Packaging is A+. Uh, yes, this is in shade Candlelight. Oop, a little plug. Oh, Ooh. it looks a little dark. Um, okay, so you can use this, it said, as a prime or not as a primer, as a highlighter or mixed in with your foundation. So I am going to mix this in with the foundation. I know that the Beauty Blender is more of a matte, found matte velvety foundation. So maybe this will just, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, here we go. Maybe this will make it a little bit more luminous. Did I say that it sells for $52 and I got it for $20? I don't know if I did. They actually, they had a lot of Kevin Aquan stuff. And I don't know what's going on over there at Kevin Aquan. Um, but it, a lot of his stuff is ending up in TJ Maxx. Um, okay, so it's hard to say, I guess, until the foundation dries down. 
But all I really feel like this is doing is making my foundation less thick. Um, which is maybe why it ended up at TJ Maxx. Oh my god. This happens every time I use this. It just like gets stuck and then it just shoots like bullets of foundation across the room. I mean it doesn't look bad. I just don't know that I noticed like a huge difference except that I feel I, I mean actually that the reason the foundation isn't going on as thick could also be because I'm using a new beauty blender and it's actually absorbing instead of this which is like calloused and caked. I don't really have an opinion on this yet. Um, we'll see when it dries down. It looks pretty. I just don't notice like much of a difference one way or the other to be honest. Um, okay, there was also no concealer unless it was in shade like mahogany which was not going to work with my skin tone. So I am just going to use my own concealer. So I am using, this has nothing to do with the TJ Maxx, but this has just been really helpful in getting rid of my dark circles. The LA Girl Pro Conceal. I don't know if it has a shade. Um, it's orange. Orange corrector. This I actually got. This wasn't part of what I did. Oh wow. I look like the grudge. Um, this is not really part of the video. This is a separate trip to TJ Maxx because I just can't stay away. But this is the Seamless Foundation Brush from Marc Jacobs, which I found at TJ Maxx for, I believe, $6.99, $9.99. I don't know where the thing is, but it was cheap. Um, however, this brush, it has such like a fine tip. It literally kind of hurts me. It feels a bit like I'm putting on my um, concealer with a soft but durable razor blade. Okay, can we talk about also just how good that concealed my circles, my under eye circles? because. Your girl's been tired and I haven't needed help, but that orange corrector has been just getting the job done for me. Okay, so we are going in with the Neo Setting Powder from Kevin Aquan. This is originally $58 and I got it for $19.99. So, just really would have been fiscally irresponsible for me to not do it really do not want you getting into these luxury products okay so nice with a nice touch a little satin pouch carry my cell phone around in it okay and the packaging is pretty good I already have covered it in my fingerprints um at least these will look nice on my vanity if nothing else oh that's um Alright, so, ooh, that is beautiful. So she's a highlighter, um, so we'll be using our normal setting powder as planned. Okay, so while our face is baking, let's go ahead and bronze. There was an option to get a bronzer, but, but, there was also this Gucci powder foundation in a shade way too dark for me, and I was like, how I have to, so I did. This is the Gucci Gucci Face um, Satin Matte Powder Foundation. The packaging is really pretty. It's like embossed with the Gucci um, monograms. Oh, carry it around and people think I'm very wealthy. The foundation also has the monogramming in it. I don't know. I don't think you can see because this camera sucks. I don't want to touch it with my poor dirty little fingers. So this is originally $69 and I got it for $34.99. So about 50% off. It's like definitely a warm kind of bronzy shade. <sighs> Ooh, it is very, she is very warm. I mean, it's pretty, it's blending on really nicely. Um, a little more orangey than I would normally go for my bronzer, but we're gonna make it work. Oh my god, I forgot that I had a contouring pencil. Yep, 
It's a Burberry contouring pencil. Bougie as fuck. This packaging is like knitted, like it's like wicker. Um, it's probably nicer than most of my clothes. Okay, this is a cooler. It's very waxy. Um, we're gonna put it at the bottom of where we just bronzed. Normally I would do the cream first, but I completely forgot that I got this. Then I am going to use my Kat Von D cream contour brush, which I also got from TJ Maxx. Um, these, I believe they stopped making, but I've been looking for one because I honestly don't know really what to blend out cream contour with, like what kind of brush. So this was originally, I believe around $32. It's hard to find because I don't make it anymore. And I got this for 12. The Burberry contouring pen is $37 and I got it for 20. So not too bad. It's hard to tell because the bronzer is already on there, but it kind of seems like it's just blending out into nothing. Um, like, let's see on my wrist here. See, it just kind of disappears. <laughs> um, alright, so, just because it's from Burberry doesn't mean that it's good. Okay, so back to the blush. So, I got this in shade Papaya. I don't know why I got it in that shade. Maybe it looked less... Um, intense on the website. Okay, it's pretty. That's what happened. Um, this was, I don't know if I told you guys how much it was yet. Did I mention it was $9.99 and originally $18. It's got a cute little swirl. It's, she's nice. Not really doing the most, this blush. All right, she's kind of there. She's I think that's it for the face products. I'm trying to keep track. I got a lot of stuff. It totaled, I believe, $240. So it wasn't super cheap, but I got a bunch of stuff. I think if I had gotten all this stuff um, firsthand, it probably would have been closer to like a thousand. So moonlighting as a beauty influencer is costing me a lot of money. I'm going to go in with the brows next. Again, it is have an Aquan, the brow gel pencil, but upon looking into it further, I looked up directions and literally all it said was to store with the cap on. So I just didn't try out. I was like, thank you. Looking into it though, I think it is just a normal brow pencil, not a brow gel. I got it in the color Sheer Warm Blonde, um, but the swatches look to be a about my eyebrow color, which is typically like a soft brown. So we'll see, same ombre red to black packaging. I like that. Ooh, it's just coming out a little gray. Um, looks a bit like pencil lead. Um, this tip is kind of not working for me. I prefer like a finer tipped eyebrow pencil so that I can create little hair leg strokes. I don't know who got sheer warm blonde out of this color. It looks like I've sprayed like dry shampoo in my eyebrows a little bit. This I do not know that I, it's like fine, like it's not bad. The color is just really strange and then the consistency, it just kind of looks like I've like gelled down my eyebrows with like what is that stuff that everyone used to use in the 2000s to like crunch their hair? City Works or something? I, this is, I'm gonna pass on. Originally $32, got for $9.99, so it was cheap. It wasn't bad. Drugstore prices, drugstore performance. Okay, so next we got an eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my own MAC Paint Pot. This is a joke. They, the picture for this was very misleading. This is the Jane Iredale, Iredale. I've never used her stuff before. I don't really know the pronunciation. Bright Future Eyeshadow Compact. It is literally a keychain. When I went to TJ Maxx separately of my own accord, this is a bobby pin, by the way. Um, I got the Mac Alia, 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 um, eyeshadow palette as well. 
I'm, I'm sorry, Aaliyah. It's you had a rough life. You already you died in a plane crash ten years ago, and now they're putting you in TJ Maxx. So this is funny. Um, this the original price for this. Okay, I can't find it because I don't sell it anymore. But I feel like I saw something that said it was like forty two or thirty two dollars. I got it for ten, which. If I paid $42 and got this in the mail, I would be so pissed. Are you serious? Are you joking? I don't even, I'm not even sure where to go from here. I can't do this. We're going to do the Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Aaliyah one. This is the MAC Aaliyah eyeshadow palette. I really like the packaging. The colors I'm not actually like insanely crazy about, but I just... Seeing something in a TJ Maxx versus finding it in an actual store are two very different things. If I saw this in like, I don't know, Mac or somewhere, even if it was like marked down to the same- <gasps> Dang. Okay, well we gotta do it on the other eye then. Okay, that was pigmented. It was on sale for $20. It said it was originally $39, but I don't trust the prices they give you in TJ Maxx because they also were selling like the Maybelline Soda Pop palette for $18, which is like twice what it costs in stores and saying that it was originally $40. And I don't know. I don't know if someone just is sitting there just like, just guessing. Okay, the MAC eyeshadow palettes like this are about $32. It was $32. I got it for $20 wasn't my best score but you know it was cheaper than it would have been originally i've never really used mac eyeshadows before to be honest i i don't really use mac anything i remember like <clears throat> when i first started getting into makeup um my stepsister was already way ahead of me because she's just young and hip and fresh and has a bunch of instagram followers and can do great makeup and so she told me, she said, yeah, you just get a MAC pigment and you can just use it for anything. You use it on your eyes, use it as highlighter, best, best investment you can do. So I said, okay, okay, I hear you and I will get that. And so I did, I did get that and I got like this, I don't even know, like a brown, um, like kind of like a coppery but like more muted more cool tone and I would just put it on my cheeks as highlighter and I looked like I had just come out of the coal mines every single day and um that and then I returned it because it looked really bad and after that I pretty much didn't use MAC anymore it wasn't their fault I just really didn't know what I was getting into and then I panicked and never went back but this eyeshadow is going on pretty well um it's blending really nicely it's pigmented as lord knows you all saw i'm going to use some of this purple shade here with my finger and put that on the lid and then i'm going to use this gold yeah and go on the inner part of the eyelid that's good enough Next, we have the Kevin Aquan, yet again, the Expert Mascara, which this worked out because I just so happened to need another mascara. So this originally cost $29, and I paid $16.99. So, a little little cheaper honestly a lot of this stuff if i paid the actual price for it i would be freaking pissed i think the only thing so far that i would want to pay full price for is maybe the Aaliyah eyeshadow palette okay so i just had to take a moment because my entire memory card was full i don't know how long i've been recording for this is a very long video and then i had to transfer one of my video clips from my memory card to my usb and that took about 25 minutes and this has just been a whole ordeal okay i'm really liking this mascara by the way on to lashes we have the being 
Blinking Butte Havsies, which are like a smaller kind of just the end lashes, which I actually prefer because that's usually how I cut my lashes anyways. Um, so these are normally $29 and I got them for $9.99. Okay, these lashes are really pretty actually. Um, I like them. They're very long, but from a distance they look nearly natural. Um, okay, so next we have highlighters. We have a lot of different options of highlighters because apparently the Celestial Skin Fluid can be used as a highlighter. Um, the Neo Setting Powder, which in the beginning of the video we thought was a setting powder, but now we know is actually a highlighter. We have that. And then I also got the Cover FX Perfect Light Highlighting Powder. I really like the Cover FX Perfect um, setting powder so this is in the same line so i thought maybe it'd be good i don't know it looks a little um what the fuck it's not now i feel like this is like a setting powder there's almost no shine to it like a little tiny bit um the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder is... Oh, it is a lot of different prices at a lot of different places. I believe it looks like it was originally $34. And I got it for $6.99. That's a deal if you ask me. Okay, we'll just... You know, we'll try them all out a little bit. So this is the Cover FX. It's a very, very very subtle highlight. Let's try the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Setting Powder. Um, ooh. Dusty. Now that, that is pretty. It is like, it looks white, but then it almost comes off like a, like a pinky goldy iridescent kind of color. Kevin Aquan hasn't won too many rounds in this one, but he did good with the highlighter. Okay, we're almost done. We're wrapping it up here. Next we have lips. We have a Clou de Peau This is a lip liner. That is the actual size of the lip liner. I think maybe this is just supposed to be a cartridge to go in another lip liner. I can't even use it. Um, so this was $16.99 and a complete waste of money. That's good. Lastly, we had the Laura Geller, I'm trying to go quickly because my camera is about to die, Iconic Baked Sculpting Lipstick. This is in shade Soho Nude. What kind of bougie brand sells just a cartridge for their lip liner? This is... This looks horrible. Um, it's just really oily and just this color looks, I don't know, it's a little bit like Claire's makeup vibes for me slash foundation lips and I'm not really feeling it. All in all, besides the lips, I do like this look. Um, the Celestial Liquid did nothing. I love the Beauty Blender. The Gucci um, Powder Foundation blended really well. That Burberry Contour Pen did nothing. The brows I did not like. The Kevin Aquan Highlighter I really liked. Cover FX for a Subtle I really liked. Again, the liquid, nothing. Um, the Aaliyah eyeshadow palette is really pretty. I really like how it blended. I loved the Kevin Aquan mascara and I really like the lashes. Uh, this, where is the, is a joke. I would not recommend. The lip liner cartridge, I don't even understand what the point of that is. The, this lipstick is probably the ugliest lipstick I've ever seen. But Altogether, we did a pretty good job. I got a lot of stuff for the amount of money that I spent, even though it wasn't exactly cheap either. I'm sorry if this video was super rambly and I was super exhausted and if it ends up being like 45 minutes long. I'm trying to wrap it up before my battery dies. Even my camera is sick of hearing me talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was fun for you guys to watch and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.